Hey, it's Brickstar, and in this video we're going to look at the Discovery Kids LEGO Space set. This is set 7468. This is real space. This is an actual mission. It is called Saturn V Moon Mission, and these are small mini models of the different uh, ships that were used in getting the men to the moon in the late 60s to early 70s. 1969, July 20th, the first time man landed on the moon, but not the first time they flew the Saturn V style rockets. Uh, we got four basic parts to the set, the rocket, the command, or the control service module, command service module, whatever they call it, and the lunar lander, and the moon buggy. All of them are very simple in design, not many pieces. The whole set only has 178 pieces, so this can be easily built. It is designed for kids, thus it is called Discovery Kids. There is one thing that mine is missing. It is the information book. So I'm going to be going online to Bricklink and ordering me from a Bricklink seller the various uh, books that would have came in these Discovery Kids space sets. Um, and just as a side note, if you list something as complete on Bricklink, it needs to be complete. I bought this on Bricklink for a seller, and so far every set that I have in, from the seller has been incomplete. But anyway, just keep that in mind um, when you buy on Bricklink. Sometimes sellers don't know what they're talking about. So anyway, this is a good set um, if the stickers were applied correctly. I got most of them corrected that I could, but... Um, We'll look at the, each of the four aspects of this set. Okay, we'll start with the Saturn V rocket. Have to turn it sideways to get it in the whole screen. This was the main rocket they used in getting the men to orbit the moon and to go to the moon. There were 17 Apollo missions using the Saturn V rocket. It has five boosters on the bottom. Has just the one main unit here where all the fuel they use. I don't know, liquid hydrogen or something. I don't really know. But um, would would be in here. Up here in this smaller area is where the parts are that go to the moon, which would include the lunar module there in the CSM and the little buggy they took up in a couple of missions. They're all crammed up in this area, and the rest of it is fuel to get it off the Earth because you have to get the escape velocity to leave the Earth. They do give you this cool little display stand that says Saturn V. So you can set it on there like that and display your Saturn V rocket. Still one of the most iconic rockets. It's special because you know it's the first manned mission to the moon. Now this is the CSM um, command service module I think is what that stands for. This would be orbiting around the moon while the guys were on the moon. And this little capsule here, that's what they end up coming back to Earth in. It's just this little tiny piece right here. Uh, this part's pretty neat. It um, has the moon. The other one was the Earth, the Apollo CSM, but it's like a round piece with a pattern of the moon. And you got these clear pieces, which include the clear antenna and the clear uh, connector there. Is that a number three, number five, I think? I don't know. can't see. I, don't, I can't see up close. But that is that command system service, whatever module that orbited around the moon. And then the piece that they landed on the moon with is this one. Now, LEGO did make a set in the 70s. It was blue <laughs> like this. Uh, the, the shape and the design was similar to the lunar lander. But... <laughs> But it was not blue. <laughs> and it came with little astronauts. Now you don't get any minifigures at all with this set. Uh, because everything's kind of micro build. But you got the four legs. You got the booster rocket on the bottom. And as I just knocked over Neil and Buzz there. Sorry. But anyway. This land on the moon. Here's a little where they, the ladder where they come out. And Neil Armstrong did his you know, one giant leap for man, or one small leap for man, one giant leap for mankind, yada, yada, yada. And this is the piece that would leave uh, the moon. So basically they come down in this and land, and all, all, this right here amazingly had enough 
fuel to get them off of the moon. Because so just think about that. The moon has one sixth the gravity of the Earth. You need that giant rocket to get off of the Earth, but you just get this little tiny module that amazingly had enough power and fuel to leave the gravity of the moon. This shows you that one sixth is in gravity proportionally is a lot bigger bigger difference than you might think. Um, so one reason we can't go to Mars, I think Mars would be a death mission because basically once you got there you couldn't get back unless you had a rocket like that sitting on Mars already waiting for you. All right, and the last part is the moon buggy and the 70 set. I've already reviewed it. Set 565. I think is the number. Maybe wrong. I'm trying to go from memory. But I'll put a link to the other lunar module uh, set they made in the in the 70s. It also had a, a moon, uh, the moon buggy, but it wasn't white like this one. It does have the little dish here on the front. I think this is supposed to be some kind of camera or something on the front there. It's a two-seater, but you couldn't put too many figures on there. Actually, these would be giant people compared to the the lunar things. See, these aren't the scale. <laughs> so you got this scale, then it goes down to this. This is bigger, and this is even bigger. So it's like everything progressively got bigger scale. They're not two scale with one another. All four of them are it's four different scale there. Anyway, that is the complete set. Outside of the Discovery Kids booklet that would have come with this, this is the instructions. It's real simple build. Whole set's only 178 pieces, so it's really for kids, which is cool. But it actually does not make too bad a look and display uh, with these. If you put the stickers on right. Anyway, so that is the Discovery Kids Saturn V Moon Mission. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please subscribe if you're not already, and please check out our other videos. We do all kinds of LEGO related videos. This channel is dedicated to LEGO. No Mega Blocks, Creo, that kind of stuff. I do that on my other channel, Brickzars Basement and Beyond. This channel will be LEGO. Do LEGO hauls, LEGO reviews, even some custom things LEGO. And looks like Carl has come up here to the moon to bring me another package. Carl. You deliver everywhere. So, I guess that means we'll have to do another Lego haul, which we see a lot on this channel. Thanks for watching. Good luck.